He, he promises there's a coming he. He says these words won't fail, but this world, it's going to fail. It's going to end. But then you say, well, why would God do that? Why would God create it? And then why would God destroy it? Well, look at Luke chapter 17. The purpose of this catastrophic heat is found in Luke chapter 17. We see the promise of the coming heat. We see the purpose of the catastrophic heat. Luke chapter 17, look at verse number 26. Luke chapter 6, 17, I'm sorry, Luke 17, verse 26. He says, And as it was in the days of Noe, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noe entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Now I want you to notice the point he says. He says it's like in the days of Noah and it's like in the days of Lot. Now, I don't know how far we've got to go before we fulfill both of those, but I think we're getting close. I mean, think back. To, I mean, I'm not that old, but I could think back when I was a kid, and I look at the politics and the world agenda today. It's not even the same place just in my generation, let alone some of the gray hairs here that grew up and had, I mean, they had Bible class in public school. And now you can't even bring the book. Now it's a, it's a hate book. Listen, you say, why would God destroy the world? Because it's getting worse and worse. The evolution teaches we're getting better and better. My friend, we're getting worse and worse. They've got to have more laws and more laws trying to restrain mankind. I mean, why should we have to have all these laws if we're, if we're getting better and better? We ought to have less and less laws because we're evolving. We're getting corrupt and more corrupt and they're throwing laws and no law in the world is going to restrain the, of the human nature, the, the wickedness, the perverseness of the human mind and what we're capable of. We're getting worse and worse and they're try the prisons are getting bigger and bigger. The problems are exploding and God says, hey, it's going to have to end one day. It's getting worse and worse and worse. I'll give you, for instance, right now in the, uh, the uh, I was going to say the, country of California, because I didn't want to claim it, I guess, but anyway, in the state of California right now, there's an assembly bill. The bill is 2943. In that bill, it's already been drafted. It's getting ready to be voted on in the state of California, and what that bill is, is to make any speech against homosexuality illegal, either spoken or written. Now, what they didn't tell you is that means your Bible. Because your Bible teaches that sodomy, homosexuality, is wicked and to be punished by death. That's what the Bible says. God hates it. God destroyed nations over it. And now we have a, a, a bill already drafted. Now, the legislators that have drafted this bill, eight of them are homosexuals. Tell me there's no agenda here. Now, you say, well, will it pass? I don't know. Will it pass? Will it pass? Hey, listen, it doesn't matter. They can't get rid of this book even if they want to. But they're trying to make it. You say, where, where are you talking about? Are you talking about Venezuela? Are you talking about Cuba? Where are you, we're talking about the United States of America hates this book. So, well, you, listen, the fact that that bill's even drafted sitting on someone's desk, that tells us the state of our nation. You say, well, you know, it's going to turn around. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. And it's going to get worse. And I don't know how much more time we have. Let's say we have 10 years. Let's say we have 20 years. Let's say we have 100 years. Where are we going to be at this rate? God's going to have to destroy it. God says the reason is, is because the days of Noah and the days of Lot, it's not getting any better. And, and listen, the further we go, the less God we want. And the less God we have, the worse we end up, isn't it? You know, they don't want God in the schools, but they don't mind a chaplain going to the, uh, to the prisons teaching the young people how to get out of prison. Why can't we teach them how not to get in? Amen. 